Hi, so welcome to this new tutorial on how to set up a dimension style in AutoCAD. So first of all, you will have to go to the annotate tab here, which you see. Then here you will see an arrow. So click on that arrow and this window will open, which is called as dimension style manager. Now here you say new and give it a name called DB300, for example, or give it a name as A, so that later on I can identify it and start with standard here. So I will start with standard, the annotative option I will untick right now and use for all dimensions and say continue. Now in the line symbol, I will first uh, say by layer to all these uh, things here, that is line type, line weight, color, so everything will be as per the layer of the dimension style. So I do this and I move on to symbols and arrows. So here I will have to change it to architecture and tick and change the arrow size to 300 if I am drawing in MM and then move on to the text. So I go to the text, I set up a new textile from here. So I say new, I call it as T300 probably A and say OK. Uh, so it, it says already in use, so I will say T300 B. So I will say OK. So now it is set up here. The height of the text I will have to change to 300 and uh, the font size, font style I will have to set it to regular. I can of course change it to bold or bold italic or, or italic only and I can also change the font name from here. So that I had already explained you in the uh, text style video. Now I will say apply and set current close. So from here you can select the text style which you just set which was uh, T T200, uh, sorry T300, so you will see here T300B and so that is applied to the drawing now. Now the text color will be by layer, so whatever uh, color you have set in the text layer will appear here and fill color you don't want. Now these are important text placement, so vertical it should always be above, so it will go, the like the text will go above the dimension line, horizontal you keep it centered and text alignment you always keep it aligned with dimension line. So these three settings are very important and offset from dimension line you make it at least 75 if you are drawing in mm. Now we will go to the next tab which is the primary units and here you will set it to decimal and precision will be set to 0 since all my dimensions are in mm. The, uh, this, uh, this decimal separator will be set to period because I want to show dot in between and uh, round off to 0. Now the alternate units, right now I will turn them off and so my text style is ready to go. So I will say ok now and set current and close. Now if I want to use my text, uh, this dimension style, I will select my dimension style from here, uh, D, D3, uh, 300, so I will select the style which I will find here. D300A so this is the style so I will select this and then I can give the dimension suppose I want to give the dimension of this particular line I will select linear dimension and click on this end and this end and just give this dimension like this so this is a dimension of 1200 mm of say 300 mm lettering height. So this is how I apply the dimension which I have just uh, created and for further such videos you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you like this video you can also hit the like button. Uh, okay, thanks for watching.